welcome back. This is video six, lecture topic four. In this video, I will talk about managing change. More specifically, I will talk about the way that people typically respond to new things and how you can use this information to your advantage. I will also briefly mention something called work-life complexity hypothesis. Back in the 1960s, there was a researcher named Everett Rogers. He studied the way that farmers adopted new technologies. He discovered that were, there were generally five types of people. The theory that he made for this is called diffusion of innovation. Basically, it is a theory about how new things spread throughout society. Here's a diagram of the theory of diffusion of innovation. On the left side are innovators. These are people who will quickly and enthusiastically try new things. They like to experiment, even if the new things don't have practical applications. Next, there are the early adopters. These are people with good reputations who can influence others. They are willing to try something new if it makes sense. They don't need a lot of evidence. Next, there is the early majority. These people are willing to try something new if they see evidence from early adopters that the new thing is working. Next, there is the late majority. These people prefer to wait until they see that the majority of people have tried something and it has worked. Last, on the far right, are the laggards. These people are traditional and conservative. They are resistant to change and may require some pressure through regulations to change, for example. This research describes a situation where people can voluntarily choose whether or not to adopt something new. With ICT implementation in Osaka, it is different. The situation requires compliance. But even when we have a situation that requires compliance, we still see these five types of people. Some people join in quickly and some people resist. You can use this information to try to organize people at your school. For example, you might want to target innovators and early adopters for participating on an ICT committee or for helping to provide training and support. If your school has a lot of enthusiastic people, then you will want to use different strategies than a school where people are very resistant. As I mentioned in the previous video about resources, we will give you a questionnaire to use that we hope will help you to identify the characteristics of your population of teachers. The fusion of innovation is an interesting topic and I encourage you to read more about it. Lastly, I want to mention something called the work-life complexity hypothesis. The words are complicated, but the idea is simple. Basically, it means that if people are already busy, then they might resist adopting something because they don't have the time or energy to try. Sometimes innovation fails for this reason, even if the people agree that the change is needed. Your implementation plan should consider people's workloads. Please join me in video seven, where I will discuss everyone's favorite topic, school policies and procedures related to ICT. It's going to be very exciting. Well, maybe not exciting, but I will give you some valuable information.